Hello YouTube. This is the Duo Andesite, a redstone CPU I've built in Minecraft. It has a 7-bit data bus and 7-bit address bus. Right now it has 64 bytes of instruction ROM, 8 bytes of RAM, and a small I.O. panel. I built the CPU on a survival multiplayer server called Simply Vanilla. It's a great server with friendly staff and community. I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link in the video description below so you can check it out. To support construction of the CPU, I made a small base nearby. This base has simple amenities such as farms, a storage facility, a mine shaft, and a smeltery to make smooth stone for redstone repeaters. I decided to use polished andesite for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that it's common underground and doesn't require furnaces to produce. The second reason is that redstone stands out on top of it, and it's a good-looking material in general. Naturally, I wanted a flat surface to build the CPU on, so I made this large platform on top of an ocean. The platform is 128 by 128 blocks. Another aspect of construction was lighting. I needed to put down a lot of torches to prevent monsters from spawning. The CPU is made of solid state redstone components, including redstone torches, redstone repeaters, and redstone dust. The CPU uses a Harvard architecture rather than a von Neumann architecture. A computer with a Harvard architecture has separate address spaces for instructions and data. I chose the Harvard architecture in order to conserve resources when building memory. Now I'll show you the different parts of the computer. Over here, we have the clock, which controls timing. It has a start-stop switch and a loop of redstone repeaters. This loop feeds into the control unit, which controls read and write signals. Over here, we have the RAM, which consists of a matrix of locking redstone repeaters. Going from one end of the CPU to the other is the data bus, which connects various parts of the computer together. Instructions are stored in a matrix of redstone torches which are in this tower here. Depending on where I put the torches, different instructions will be executed. Lastly, we have the arithmetic logic unit. It can perform various operations such as copying data, bit shifts, bitwise NOR, addition, and subtraction. If you want to learn more about the CPU, check the links in the video description below. Installed in the computer right now is a program which determines whether the input number is prime. Here's some footage of the CPU running the program. <laughs> 